Expo. This is the Wildlife Matters booth where you can take your picture, buy some merch, and sign up for any of our courses and other stuff. Like and subscribe to our page, Wildlife Matters. We are a wildlife conservation organization focusing on Philippine wildlife, especially the misunderstood species. So we have educational programs, we have snake training courses, but the wildlife exploration courses, yes. You can sign up. And if there's any course that you're looking for, don't hesitate to ask. We're a wildlife conservation organization, so we work to protect um, uh, misunderstood species like snakes. We work with King Cobras, we do educational talks, training courses, YouTube videos. Yeah, please support us. So right now, I'm going to show you guys a preview of what it looks like here at the Zoom Ed Expo. Let's go visit our neighboring booths. So here we have Corn Steak Unlimited. This is Raymond. Check out Corn Snake Unlimited on Facebook if you wanna get yourself a unique snake, beginner snake, na hindi naman ball python. So of course, this is the Zoo Med booth where you can get all your reptile needs, whether it's feeds, equipment, enclosures, they have everything here. This is the official uh, event shirt, Gawani Papa J. And so this is Purcell's Pet Zone. So here we have the Kumini This is my dream monitor. And what's super awesome is he also has wide lip python. That's an echo. They have a guardian iguana here. <laughs> Go check out their YouTube page. Yeah, and so, like the one we saw a while ago, this is also a Varanus Kumingi. These are the yellow monitors of the Philippines. Yes, they are endemic to the Philippines. One of my favorite because look how beautiful they are. Yeah, and they have them here on display at Wolfpack Exotics. So, if you guys want to appreciate something Filipino, Go check it out here at the Wolfpack Exotics. This is the booth of Unified Flyers Philippines. So they have sort of birds here to blow So this is the Hyacinth Macaw. <laughs> Check them out at the United Flyers Philippines. Look at 
This is a snow iguana. You can find it here at White Dragon Reptile Farm. People keep saying that this is an iguana and this is an iguana, but which is which, right? So I'm Ryan Norman Rockius from White Dragon Reptile Farm Philippines. So we are here in the World Trade Center in the ZooMed Expo 2022. And you can see here we have two lizards. And unfortunately, a lot of people uh, always call them iguana. But as you can see, the left one, this one is the iguana, and this one is the bearded dragon. So you see they are very different from one another and by the way they are not venomous or not even poisonous because a lot of people mistaken that when they see lizards like this they think that they, they are venomous and poisonous. So hope you learned something new today. These bearded dragons are also commonly bought as beginner pets. So if you guys want to explore uh, lizard keeping, you can actually purchase from... Hey, what dragon up to farm Philippines? Hey, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I think one, I like the green one, but different color. This one is uh, caramel albino. Caramel albino. The face is white. It's not really shedding, it's really white. Wow, look at that. A reptile event is not complete without ball python. So this is currently day two of the Zoom and Expo, and I'm here at the corner of Ball Python Asia. This is a banana cloud ball python. Siyempre, like I said, hindi talaga mawawala sa expo yung mga ball pythons. As you can see, there are many different morphs of ball pythons all around this expo. You can check out the other things they have here that are for, for sale. If you want to purchase, you can check out their page, Ball Pythons Asia, on Facebook. Right beside them is another booth that sells balls. And this is Gamma Exotics. So this is an orange ghost pastel pine. Oh look at that. It's hiding because you know ball pythons are called ball pythons because when they're scared their defense mechanism is to curl into a ball. So cute, right? Hi everyone, nice to meet you. Can you share with us what okay, you have so here? What we did for this place, we want to display as much um, different types of reptiles as we could. So we have here leopard geckos and we have like several morphs. No? You can see the difference in color and pattern. We also have ball pythons here, we got different morphs. And then we have some boas. You can see here he's trying to camouflage, he's hiding under the, the substrate. And then we also have um, more ball pythons and then our bearded dragon. We also have reptile care guides. So this one you can scan the QR to see a care guide for ball pythons. And over here, they have a care guide for leopard geckos. Another awesome thing is every around three months, they always have giveaways. Like for this expo, they're actually giving away a leopard gecko. So make sure to follow their Facebook page, Concrete Jungle Reptile Farm, so that you guys can get updates on any more promos. Getting a bit thirsty. So it is now day three of 
of the Zoo Man Expo and we're gonna check out the booths that we haven't visited yet. Starting with Lucky Six. If you like any of the animals you see, you can check them out on Facebook. Same Lucky Six Reptile Farm on Facebook. Over here we have Exotic Empire. They also have lots of bulk icons. Yeah, so this is Clearofi of Exotic Empire. He also has a YouTube vlog where he talks about ball python creeping. Yeah, so if you want to follow him, check out. Uh, Exotic Empire TV and YouTube channel and our Facebook page na Exotic Empire. Awesome! Superworms, remember? We talked about these guys in a video before. They're not superhero worms. <laughs> Look! have the locks then but now that we're here yeah look at this beauty it's kind of bitey but look I did not feel pain <laughs> it's normal he bit me like what thrice but it's fine oh, yeah I don't want to touch it oh you got bitten up huh? thrice by it yeah, <laughs> yeah she's kind of crazy talaga. It's so okay. she's hungry because I'm very hungry 
Yeah. Always. But you know, the big misunderstanding is people think that when snakes bite you, it's super painful, not in a snakes of this size. But honestly, it's it's not, and it looks worse than it should be because they have. Uh, like I said before, anticoagulants in their blood, so it keeps your blood from clotting. That's why it's pushing all the, all that red blood out, so that you know, well, I'm blood blood, like I said, which I guess in a way is good, right? <laughs> <laughs>